Welcome everyone, today I would like to share my experience of the interview at AWS. Uh, unfortunately I got rejected, but still I would like to share all my flow, how did I prepare, what I did wrong, what I did in a good way, and other stuff. So first of all about the whole flow of the interview. In the middle of September I got the message from one of the AWS managers. Uh, they were looking for the software engineer for load balancing team. And my first interview was without any collaboration with the person. I just got two uh, coding tasks at uh, hacker rank or something like that. I sold only one of them and uh, I thought by that time that um, I will be rejected because I didn't solve two problems but still they scheduled the phone screening interview it is the second round when you are interviewed by one person uh, one hour. I was preparing for that interview by doing uh, and uh, preparing the behavioral answers for behavioral questions aka um, tell me about the situation when you had a conflict with your colleague how do you resolve that with uh, on the star uh, structure so the situation task action and result if i'm not mistaken but unfortunately this phone screen interview was about linux networking in linux and linux core uh, so i had such a question like um, how can I remove the file? What uh, am I going to do if I remove the file but still the memory isn't freed? So what I'm supposed to do? What I'm supposed to do if uh, at some region our customers exper are experiencing increasing latency? How you are going to resolve that issue? How you are going to debug it? Etc. Etc. And basically I failed that interview as well. And uh, a few days later I got another email that uh, they have another position for me which uh, doesn't require such a Linux and networking knowledge and I applied I said yes okay for sure that was another phone screen interview where I only had uh, from 5 to 10 behavioral questions I was prepared to them and basically I passed that interview and uh, then um, a few days later they sent me a schedule for the last uh, interview round um, it consists of five interviews and basically for me I had like one system design interview two interviews for algorithmic data structures problem solving and uh, two interviews for the behavioral questions all the interviews were conducted remotely uh, and that's good because I don't have to uh, move away from my home this is really convenient for me by the way, I have recorded all the interview in my YouTube channel, but those videos are private. I will use them later for the advertisement, probably for the advertisement of the Instagram, YouTube and other my um, social media. So, by the way, uh, please subscribe to my Instagram. You can find uh, useful content here. Uh, okay, so my first interview was system design. It was about like uh, design me a uh, highly scalable and highly available notification system or something like that. I did that uh, task pretty well actually because uh, I got the positive feedback uh, that uh, I outperformed the task that was really good but unfortunately I did pretty poor for other uh, problem solving and algorithmic tasks and the second interview was about uh, some trivial question like five me uh, the file with particular type and particular size uh, inside the directory so you should write some kind of recursive algorithm but uh, the ambiguity of those problem solving tasks were huge and that's the moment where we move to the another interview like my uh, third interview uh, and uh, in that interview I got two problem solving questions and one of them I just didn't get it. I didn't get the task, I didn't know uh, what I'm supposed to code, what I'm supposed to do and after 30 minutes of my clarification questions uh, I just uh, got like zero progress and then my interviewer told me that we are out of time and let's move on, asks me about a few 
behavioral questions and then when we have like 20 minutes left I got the question similar to uh, one of the medium uh, lead call questions which I have solved before but uh, it was harder one and uh, for that 20 minutes I probably I was supposed to do the figuring out the solution tell about that solution in abstract way to my interviewer try to quote something at least something and maybe try to quote it like properly and correctly and then do time and space complexity analysis but unfortunately I even didn't get the solution for myself and after 20 minutes my interviewer told me that unfortunately we are run out of time and um, that's all uh, and I think uh, this is fair I'm not able to solve such question in 20 minutes because uh, at least code that uh, easier question that I solved before uh, which is similar to this one in the interview I spent to it about one hour for the figuring out the solution right writing it down and then uh, time and space complexity analysis uh, so it's pretty fair that I didn't solve the task and uh, the other two interviews uh, they both consist of about from 10 to 15 behavioral questions like tell me about the situation where you solve so, such a complex uh, task by the simple and fast solution or something like that I really hate those questions because uh, when you have like three years of experience and by that time I, I really had like three years of commercial experience um, among them only the one year as a senior engineer and uh, I really didn't have 50 situations uh, as uh, answers for those questions I prepared about 10 or 15 situations but um, I didn't expect that uh, they will ask me about 50 questions in total so yes unfortunately it is what it is and then after a week or two weeks later I got the feedback uh, and they called me by phone uh, this was something interesting for me because I expected that they just sent me an email with the feedback and that's all but uh, they called me they shared uh, pretty much detailed feedback that they did uh, so well with the system design and so poor with uh, algorithmic solving tasks and unfortunately they rejected me and uh, after 12 months left I will have another chance to try myself at Amazon. From that point we moved uh, to the part about how did I prepare for the, for this interview. I, basically I had like one or one and a half months for preparing. Uh, during that time I sold about two or three, four, five lead code questions per day from easy to medium one and uh, before the interview the day before interview I sold uh, up to 100 questions uh, if I'm not mistaken um, I sold not more than 100 questions at Lee uh, on top of that during that time I uh, did um, learning the distributed systems I did learn about the patterns of how uh, we can achieve high availability, how we can achieve high scalability, the trade-off between availability and consistency, how we can achieve consistency, different consistency models, ordering of the events, like uh, different structures for the ordering for the ordering problems, like Lampard strings, uh, version vectors, etc., etc. All that that stuff I learned uh, from different sourcing sources. And uh, for example, data intensive applications of the Martin Kleppmann. It's, it's the best book for the distributed systems, for the newcomers at least. Um, a lot of different articles and uh, the publications of the Martin as well uh, on his YouTube channel. That this helps me a lot on the system design interview because I had every single needed pattern here. Uh, just like high availability okay just do replication um, and this simplifies things a little bit so probably what can I do better probably I could be born like with a bigger brain 
I, I don't know because I, I, I really I'm not able to solve it in 20 minutes uh, probably if I had like a half a year for preparation and I sold by that year about uh, two or three hundred questions to Likot, probably in that case mm, I would have a chance but not in or not in the my situation unfortunately so guys thank you for your attention and good luck in your interviews goodbye